Hey everybody, it's Holly Mordini. Thanks for joining me for another Tuesday's Tip of the Week. This week, I really think you're gonna love this topic. It's all about the monochromatic look. Uh, we are going to take it not just on the cheek, okay? Cream blush, powder blush, it's not just for cheeks any longer. We're taking those shades to the eyes and to the lips. Get you it girl effortless chic looking in seconds. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to take your favorite blush shade Maybe it's a powder, maybe it's a cream, my favorite. So you see the peaches and the pinks, they're poppier, all right? They have vibrancy and energy, and I love that on, on the eye. Brings out the gold, really makes the eye color stand out, and in the pink family. So either if you go you know, warmer or cooler, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure that the shade has more vibrancy to it so that it really makes the features you know, stand out. Uh, because this look is monochromatic and we're not gonna be creating a lot of depth with you know, using two and three different shades on the eyes or even different finishes on the lip, it is gonna be important to define our features with liner. So I have chosen the Marc Jacobs Primrose Liner for lip and I love this shade because it's just a little bit deeper than my lip color so that's what you want to go for you know we just want to uh, sculpt and outline the outer perimeter of the lip to give it a little bit more volume and just let that color the one color that we're gonna put on it uh, just you know really have that nice shape to it all right I have chosen the cream formula and I'm gonna apply it in this really beautiful peach shade and I love this formula because it is, although it's a cream, all right, and we love creams because it just melds into the, the skin, uh, it is not reflective, okay? So it doesn't look wet. Um, if you're going for that look, and I will make a video about that because I love that wet lid look, but right now I just wanna create that monochromatic uh, dimension and color payoff from one shade, so I'm choosing the peach. I'm just taking it in this cream blush and applying it onto my ring finger. And, ooh, I like this already. <laughs> I get the shape from the pencil. If I just wanted this to be very natural, I would, you know, just apply this probably and go work out, <laughs> go to the store. But because I wanna create a more polished look, defining it with the lip liner and then just pressing in, you see already, my face looks brighter, I think. It just looks a little bit more awake and we haven't even gone to the cheek or the eye. So let's go to the eye next. All right, when you're applying a cream formula, it always calls for fingertips, right? And you certainly could just press it into your lid with your fingertip. If you have to get out the door, if you only have your blush and you have no tools, <laughs> go for it. And absolutely, it will work. I have tools, as you see, all my tools, all my brushes, my art supplies. Um, so I'm gonna choose one that is typically used for a, um, a deeper shade of shadow or a more metallic shade. You see how it's flexible uh, so that you can gradually apply the pigment. So, and just pressing it in, okay? Picking up a little bit. Now you might be thinking, okay, you're putting peach on your eyelid. Oh yes, <laughs> yes I am. And it's beautiful. So I'm taking and what I'm doing is I'm just like creating a glow with color. Um, I'm not using a formula that has iridescence or any luminosity, and this could not be any easier of an application. I mean, literally, I am just pressing it in. I use that uh, type of application a lot with shadow because it is really a way to control where you're putting the product. If you're brushing like this, yeah, you might get it all over. And if you haven't used brushes before, or very seldom do, then try the pressing in. Now I'm taking it from lash line up just beyond the crease, okay? So just beyond that, if you can see. And now I am gonna take my finger and I'm gonna soften the edge. I'm pressing again. Okay, is that pretty? I mean, I really love this monochromatic look. Again, on this side, all right. And this brush, you see too how it's, you know, it, it's meant for the crease area. So turn it on its side like this and just press over and it will naturally just apply it to the crease area and then just above because that's what, what you want. You don't wanna stop right at the crease, all right? You wanna, you wanna blend it on top of that crease line as well. 
Okay, uh, it's already making my hazel eyes look very green. That's the beauty of any peach shade. It really will pull out the gold and the green in your eye, which we love. Before I do a little liner, because I would typically put a little bit of eyeliner on, because remember we did the lip in the liner, and then just to do a little bit um, on the eye. All right, so let's look in my bag and see which liner I wanna use. Stroke of Beauty Wonder. I love this shade because it is a silver base with a gold fleck in it. Um, normally you would anticipate seeing a silver fleck. Well, I like to mix it up and play with the warm and the cool tones in one um, bullet, and that is what Wonder is. So, now starting in the outer corner, I'm just subtly defining the lash line. And I'm not even, I'm not even doing it perfectly. <laughs> You don't need to. This is not about perfection, okay? The monochromatic look is very minimalistic as well. All right, so just giving your eye that subtle definition by smudging an eyeliner into the top lashes, and don't even do the bottom. Just do the top. That keeps the minimal aspect of the look really true. All right, a little mascara. Lash exhibit. Long, thick, inky black and curled lashes all at the same time. You know, if you're creating a minimalistic look, the last thing you wanna do is fuss with your mascara, so get it all in one formula, I love this. And you've probably already guessed, I'm concentrating the mascara application just to the top lashes. This minimalistic look does not require any definition along the bottom lashes. Let's just make those lashes high and long and uh, lash to lid is what we say. Now you've seen how we can use one shade of blush, cream blush, on the lip, on the eyes eyeshadow. We know we use it on the cheek and I love, this is a new brush that we have coming out uh, to apply any cream products, any highlighters. I love the little speckled design. This is just a sneak peek. I cannot wait to unveil. But you know, the dome on this brush is really uh, unique and how it is rounded and yet it is flexible. So it's perfect for cream consistencies. And rather than swirling, because this is a nice and creamy formula, if yours is a little drier or if you're even using a powder, of course you'd wanna swirl. But with the cream, you just need to kind of twirl. Twirl, not swirl. <laughs> That makes sense. Pick up enough product to go around the circumference of the brush head itself and smile. I love this. Do you see how, as I mentioned, it just, I don't know how these peaches, well, golden and warm tones, obviously, do make the skin look a little warmer, but I feel like I have a sun-kissed glow with these peachy, peachy pink shades. The beauty of cream, if you've applied a little too much, press press, don't swipe, just press it in. That is crazy good, out the door. Gotta look put together, but only have one product. I also think that with more vibrant colors on the cheek, it, it's just a whole different realm of sculpting. Who said that sculpting had to be a dark shade <laughs> that you use? I mean, totally lifts the cheekbones when you have that brighter, more you know, energetic color and I've really taken that from the apple of the cheek all the way back to the hairline and just, you know, from under the cheekbone to the top of the cheekbone, that's really a, you know, a great thing about vibrant color on the cheek. You can just embrace the entire cheekbone. There's no highlighting that's necessary. Well, you could if you wanted, but you don't need to. Uh, just really sculpting that contour of the cheek with the brighter color is so beautiful and just, I think, fresh. On the cheek, I've in intensified it a little bit more, but I think that's fine. Because remember, we're creating this monochromatic look. We have the same color on our eye, our cheek, and our lip. So adding a little bit more color to one feature is absolutely great. And it really does help to just bring that feature forward. So I've applied a little bit more onto the cheek more than I did on the lip and on the eye. It's more of a wash. And if you're a girl who does not wear cream blush that often, that's okay. I mentioned that you can wear a powder. So I just wanted to show you how you can wear a powder blush. 
sounds kind of strange, I know, but using your favorite uh, lip base or lip foundation, even a lip balm, a clear lip balm, because you don't want to add color, remember, because we're doing a monochromatic look, but if it's something that's clear and just has a little bit of emolliency to it, then apply that to the lip first, then take your powder blush with your fingertip and then just blend it onto the lip. So we have, I just put a lot on so you could see, we have the cream blush on this side, that's what I'm wearing. And then I put a lip foundation and the powder blush on the other side. And you can see you get a little bit more payoff, generally speaking, with a powder blush, just because it's more concentrated pigments, doesn't have as much emollient um, qualities to it to, to make it a little bit more sheer and ethereal, but totally up to you. Who knew? One shade, monochromatic look, the same color on the eye, the cheek and the lip, could be so amazing and glowing and give you your beautiful, out the door, gorgeous, new natural. It's a new way to approach, approach natural. Natural makeup does not have to be beige and brown. That was a long time ago, girls. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that I have been able to inspire you with a new way to look at creating that effortless chic look for yourself every single day. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will continue to give you all the tips that I can. And thanks for tuning in for Tuesday's Tip of the Week. I'll see you soon.